this video we will cover the switch statement as in the previous video we have already seen how we can use the if else if else statements to pass multiple conditions in a given program we can also use switch statement for doing the similar things in this switch first of all we'll have to evaluate a value through an expression or in a variable and that value must be of any specific type the same type we will pass in the cases which will contain some constants and whichever case is getting true how it will be true they will check the equality of the given value in the particular list of cases whichever case is true that particular set of statement will be executed and if none of the case is returning the true then we will go for the default and default will do some task and again default is optional like else was optional in case of if statement and make sure whenever you are passing any case and default statement you must terminate them using this break statement this break is mandatory out here as if you will not put it will give you the compilation error let's see how the flow chart is looking like here like first of all we will have to calculate one expression and on that particular basis each case will be checked and whichever case will be true that particular code block will be executed unlike if in switch statement each and every case will not be compared linear but whichever case is true the control will directly jump onto that particular case and if none of the case is returning the true then control will directly come on this default block so let's see practically how we can implement the switch statement now let's start with the another conditional statement that is a switch statement here i am doing a very simple task where i am taking a user input which is a character and i am just converting it with this to a string using this to string function and then if it is in upper case i will convert it into lower case as well so i am sure like whatever is coming in this s will be in lower case here as you can see in the switch statement there are several things written let me explain them right after the switch i have passed this parenthesis make sure inside this parenthesis you have to pass a variable or an expression means anything which evaluates a value you must not pass any constant right here as it will give you a syntax error as well now when you pass any variable or expression which evaluates a value that value must have a type and on that particular basis you will add the number of cases as here i am using string so you can see i have used the double quotes along with the values and make sure whenever you are using these cases these cases must have a constant value inside it and since it is a string i put it inside the double quotation if you are using character you will have to place it in single quotes if it is a numeric value you don't have to pass anything you can di directly write that value make sure again that it is a constant now you can see as i have placed the number of cases right here so on the basis of the value which is inside s if it is a case a will be true case e case i o u so in either of the cases whatever is inside s these values will get printed and right after that i am putting a break which will terminate from this switch statement we will discuss this break statement later in the jump statements as well but here let me clarify you whenever you put any case inside a switch right after that you must put the break statement as if i will remove this you can see it will start giving you the error means each case must be terminated properly 
let's execute this program and see how the flow is going on so again I will put a breakpoint right here as I find it's the best way to trace your application execution and I will put like O alright whether small O or capital O because we are converting it to lowercase in either ways so let's execute this when I will put the mouse over S you see it is containing O let's press F11 again and you see it directly jumped into case O it didn't come from case A, case E, case I and then case O no it is not executing life like if statement because there when there are multiple conditions like if, else if, else if we are coming from one by one like firstly I will check the first condition then second then third but here whichever the relevant case is there inside a switch it will directly jump into that so obviously I can say like the performance in switch statement will be better than that of the if statement but since case is not that versatile you can only compare the value which is in the equality like s should be equal to these values even if you are using the numerical values you will not be able to put the any other operator like greater than or less than it will only compare the equality and for only one expression or variable only you cannot compare the multiple values at one time in a switch statement but you can do so in if now as you have already seen the sequence inside a switch doesn't matter so here we have something called default this default will work like the else statement means when none of the case will return anything this default will do that and again putting a default inside a switch is not mandatory if none of the case is giving you the true result it will not give you any output logically we put it right after all the cases because this will be executed at the very last but you can put this default anywhere it is syntactically correct and uh, when all the cases will be false only then the default will work if you want to put similar definitions in all the cases as in this program I'm just putting A is vowel, E is vowel and it's a very similar output so you can also do that in a shorthand like things let me show you how we can do that like this as here you can see I have given a collective definition for all these five cases it's A E I O U and then whatever is inside S I'm just putting it right here S is a vowel whatever is inside and if none of the things are there then this default will get executed so let's see the output the output should remain same like U U is a vowel let's say R consonant or special character so this is how you can start working with switch statements